I think I'm going to start getting addicted to these chomps. Well, hello, YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy once again, Mike McFly, and you're watching my latest video of McFly Collectibles. In today's video, I'm pretty excited to show you guys my first ever Abominable Toys Chomp. I've been looking at these figures online in the Funko community and also in the collecting community in general, and I have to say, these figures are a lot better in person than how they look in picture. And also, I got an Amazon exclusive Transformers pop that I've been dying to grab, and now it's finally added to my collection, and as the Metallic Optimus Prime. So without further ado, let's check out these figures. How's it going Funko family and collectors? If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get alerted on my new content right away, smash that like button down below because it helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and also leave a comment and let me know what you think of today's video. And now to show you guys my first ever Abominable Toys Chomp. This one is called Reverse Cotton Candy, and by the looks of the box, which by the way, the box is fire, guys. This is badass. As you can see, it says Chomp right here in the back. has a little description. It says, uh, meet Chomp. He's a fun-loving Yeti with an abundance of chill. Chomp spends most of his time searching for oranges and playing hide-and-seek. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Abominable Toys makes this. I'm sure you guys heard of them before. And these things are pretty limited. The This one was created by Connor, Mc, um, Connor McConnell and Benjamin Sue. So, yeah, it tells you, uh, th this is fire, guys. The box art is insane, too, man. I, I like the box art to this. And, yeah, guys, this one, I think, was limited to about 1,050 pieces or 1,800 pieces, something something like that. I'm not really sure. But, overall, in general, these chomps are pretty limited. The There was one that was recently released this um, last weekend, and it was a lava version of this, which was glow-in-the-dark, and that one was limited to 600 pieces, and it sold out within five minutes. Some people saying 10 minutes, nah. Because when I finally found out about it, and I woke up, I woke up, I didn't even put my alarm on, but I woke up around 11.30, and when I checked, it was gone. Some people say it was 30 minutes, nah, I don't think it was, because I woke up at 11.30, and I think they released this at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And yeah, once I went to check at 11.30, I went on the website ASAP, it was gone, sold out. So these were gone pretty quickly. So like I said before, pretty limited amounts of these chomps. I think that's why these values of these chumps are going higher and higher. The, the more limited they are, the more higher they are in resale value. So, oh yeah, so let me just show you guys. Pretty badass. Like this styrofoam. Packaged up pretty well. Guys, man, I'm glad that I'm, I'm starting to just get into this whole chomp line because I, I think I found a new addiction of collecting here in the year 2021. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, take a look. Reverse cotton candy chomp. This is a five inch figure. So the details on it, you guys already know. I think the paint details on it is pretty badass. This is a reverse con candy, like I said before, limited to 1,050 to 1,800 pieces, somewhere around there. And I, I just think this is cool. This is something new for me to collect. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just starting to get a little bit addicted by just watching these things, you know? Uh, I do see this one that's a I Love New York version of this. And that was a New York Comic Con exclusive. There's also a Statue of Liberty version of the Chomp, which I think is limited to 400 pieces. That one is going up in value. So it's going to be pretty hard, like Funko Pops. Not as expensive as Funko Pops, because these are not that old. But once again, I think you can see these at your local Hot Topic, depending on what's released at Hot Topic. And they they, they, they sell out, guys. I've I seen a few Funko Instagrammers, you know, they, they get them, and sometimes they miss on them, and they sell out quick. So this one... I got this from Smile World, shout out to Smile World, and um, I think, yeah, he was selling this one for $60, which is not bad, because I see people selling these for about $80 right now, $80 to $90 right now, some around $65, $70, depending on what they get it from, but I think this was released only on Abominable Toys, but I think it was also released at Hot Topic as well, but guys, this is pretty cool, man, so me personally, I think 2021 is going to be Funko and Chomps, at least for me. All right, guys, now time to show you guys the Amazon exclusive Optimus Prime. Now, this one, I told you guys for a while, I'm trying to get this. I, I, I told you I was looking for a deal. 
I'm trying to get it and I found one of course on whatnot you know did a little counter offer and the person accepted it I think the person had around twenty eight dollars or twenty seven and I told them to drop it down to twenty uh twenty three twenty three fifty I think by the percentage and they accepted the bid because I'm sure person probably got more than one <laughs> you know what I'm saying this was released on amazon uh, dot com and it's packaged up pretty well and the thing about this pop they're saying is metallic I don't see anything metallic when it comes to the pictures but we're gonna see how it looks up close person bubble wrapped it pretty well and ladies and gentlemen it came in a pop protector that's what's up here it is ladies and gentlemen Amazon exclusive Optimus Prime let me take it out the pop protector and as I take it out this pop protector you guys already know it's uh it's smooth <laughs> And it's minty too. Ooh, this is a minty box. Look at that. Minty box, guys. Optimus Prime. I told you guys I was going to get him. And I got him. You already know what it is. Just like the Nike, the sneakers app. Got him. <laughs> Nothing wrong on top. Here's the bottom. Factory code. The details on this. I'm telling you right now, this is bad. This is just badass because it looks just like the cartoon. And I told you guys, Funko is killing it with these retro toys line. And I believe the Transformers line is also selling out even with the comments. And the details on it is pretty spot on with the cartoon. One of the best cartoons, at least for me, growing up, honestly. And I, I just honestly think that they're going to make more versions of this. You know, I am missing Jazz and Soundwave. Soundwave, I believe, is a GameStop exclusive. So that one I could probably pick up, but one of my boys is telling me that he hasn't found it in no other GameStop. So that's telling me that people are buying these retro toys. Now, even people that don't collect Funko Pops, they collect all things Transformers or just like... All things from the 80s cartoons, early 90s, they're buying these pops. So, you know, there's people that I know that sneaker heads, that sneaker YouTubers, they have pops in the background, whether it's Jordan pops or whether it's Transformers pops or whether it's anime pops. They have these in the background. So, I'm telling you right now, Funko, they, they're starting to get new collectors. I already told you guys that when it comes to this Funko game, it's turning to the sneaker game because I do collect sneakers. And I'm telling you right now, I, I'm seeing some of these sneaker guys, which I'm not hating because, you know, once again, I, I was always collecting sneakers and I was. You know, my friend put me onto Funko Pops and I always looked at them first, you know, never got into Funko Pops. And then as a while, he was looking at me one day, staring at a wall of Pops and he was like, you're getting addicted, right? So I'm telling you right now, I'm sure sneakerheads are looking at Pops and they're like, you know what? This is fire. I got to grab it. You can't say no to them because these are pretty cool figures to collect. But ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to this Optimus Prime, oh man, it's fire. I don't see the metallic. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think they say this one's metallic. Nonetheless... I had to get it because Optimus Prime. This is my favorite character in the Transformer line and the Transformers universe. Couldn't say no to this beautiful looking pop. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Funko family collectors out there. Just showed you guys my first ever Abominable Toys Chomp. This is a fire looking figure. I love the different colors when it comes to the other chomps. Once again, they are pretty limited, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are starting to collect these things, like just collect these figures overall, do your homework. Pay attention because they do drop randomly. This one, I think was, like I said, I think it was around 11 a.m. They drop Eastern time and they let you know on Instagram telling you, hey, we're dropping them. We're not going to let, let you know what time we're dropping them. Just pay attention. And also, they give you a password to try to get these uh, figures. And I think that's a good thing because they don't let the bots eat them up. I think Funko should start doing that when it comes to their Funko shop. They should just have a password, put it out there, and if you're able to get them, you're able to get them. If you can't, you already know that at least the bots didn't get them, and us as Funko Collectors got them. But as far as these chomps is concerned, this is a nice looking figure. Like I said before, 2021, I think I'm going to start just collecting chomps. <laughs> also showed you guys this nice little Amazon exclusive, Optimus Prime, once again, my favorite character in the Transformers universe. Oh man, you know, uh, I, I had the figures to this one. I don't even know where they're at. Honestly, I think my mom has them somewhere in a storage because yeah, guys, I, I, I'm, I know they're not in the box. I played with all my toys when I was younger, but I remember my pops used to tell me, dude, you should, you should buy one to keep and buy one open. This is when I was like seven. He said, you should buy one to in the box, leaving, like leaving the box and then play with one because they are going to be worth a lot of money. And I'm saying right now, some of them are worth a lot of money. So I should have listened to my seven. But as a kid, you're like, okay, yeah, whatever. You mean buy two to play with? All right, buy me two. <laughs> that's how we, you know, I guess everyone in general, that's how us kids, that's how we used to think. But I'm happy that now I have Optimus Prime as a Funko Pop figure in my collection. So collectors and Funko family, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch me, Mike McFly. You're watching my latest video, McFly Collectibles. Till then, I'm out.